Ruja Ignatova, Rise and Fall of the Crypto Queen. Ruja Ignatova. The video follows the life of a woman who started with the best possible education and a gifted personality, but threw it all away by making the worst possible life choices. We explore the path she followed in her business life, making her extremely rich, extremely quickly, but it was all done at the expense of others. The Rise. Dr. Ruja Ignatova was born in Sofia, Bulgaria on May 30, 1980. At the age of 10, her family moved to Germany. From the very beginning, she was a gifted child and always at the top of her class. She studied at Oxford University and received a PhD in international law from the University of Constance. Following her studies, she became a consultant for McKinsey & Company, a global management consulting firm. In 2012, she was convicted of fraud in Germany in connection with the acquisition of a steel company obtained by Roja and her father. The company went bankrupt shortly after its acquisition. This proved to be fraudulent and she was sentenced to 14 months suspended jail sentence. In 2014, 34 year old Ignatova and Sebastian Greenwood, an expert in multi level marketing, launched a cryptocurrency called OneCoin. It was launched by two offshore companies. OneCoin Limited, based in Bulgaria and registered in Dubai, and OneLife Network Limited, registered in Belize. Both companies were founded by Ignatova and Greenwood. According to OneCoin, its main business was selling educational material for cryptocurrency trading. Members could later exchange these educational packages, ranging from €100 Euros to €118,000, for OneCoins. Yet a typical recruiting event would include no education, but plenty of discussion about investing in cryptocurrency. When investors became members promoting one coin, they were getting a percentage margin on the proceeds from the people they had introduced and persuaded to invest in the company. This is a pyramid scheme, and it's very illegal. Following the success of Bitcoin and its subsequent price explosion, investors who bought early at a low price made huge returns. Roja's ambition was to create a cryptocurrency to rival Bitcoin for the ordinary person who was not an experienced investor, but who could invest a smaller amount of money and make a considerable profit. Ignatova was a convincing speaker. Thousands of people were gathering in venues all over the world to see and hear her presentations. It was at these gatherings that she recruited members to promote one coin and sell to their friends and relatives. She would urge and convince simple people to invest in one coin and not be left out of the huge potential profits. Those events were packed and organized like rock concerts. The Crypto Queen Ignatova started to refer to herself as the Crypto Queen. In general, people are tempted by the idea of making huge profits fast. So when an opportunity arises, they have the fear of missing out. But the motive of other people was simply being able to acquire a better life. People who worked long hours, people who did difficult physical labor, senior citizens. According to the BBC, farmers in Uganda sold their livestock and invested their money in one coin, hoping for a better life for their families and themselves. Investors who have worked hard their whole life and were able to accumulate a nest egg risk these savings, believing that by investing in one coin they could have a better future. They didn't feel they were taking a risk because they trusted Ruja and her education and work experience. There are also investors who feel guilty after persuading their friends and families to invest in one coin. In addition to losing their own money, they were the instigators for their loved ones to lose their investments as well. It is believed that more than a million investors from 175 countries were defrauded into investing in one coin. On the other hand, Ruja and her collaborators amassed millions, providing themselves with an affluent lifestyle, luxury yachts, expensive jewelry, exclusive properties. Skoinks Exchange The only way to exchange these OneCoins for any other currency was through an internal marketplace, OneCoin Exchange, known as Skoinks. There were limitations as to how many OneCoins could be exchanged for any other currency per day. This platform was launched after many delays. In March 2016, it was announced that the exchange would be closing down for two weeks for maintenance. But in January 2017, it was shut down permanently. That meant that investors could no longer trade their one coins and retrieve their investments. The Fall 
One coin was not a cryptocurrency and it did not have blockchain technology. It was a Ponzi scheme. They were simply recording their transactions internally. Bjorn Jerk is a blockchain expert and he was the first person who started speaking publicly against OneCoin. He was initially contracted by OneCoin in order to develop their blockchain for them. In 2017, Ignatova was already under investigation by the City of London Police, the German authorities, as well as the FBI and Europol, for a string of charges including securities and wire fraud and money laundering. Her collaborators started getting arrested on securities and fraud charges and money laundering. This scam is estimated to be well over $4 billion. Some sources think it could be four times that amount. Roja's brother Konstantin Ignatov, whom she placed in charge of the company after leaving in 2017, was arrested in March 2019. On the same day he was arrested, the FBI declared one coin of fraudulent currency. In November of the same year, he pleaded guilty to charges of money laundering and fraud. Greenwood was arrested in 2018. Ignatov and Greenwood could face a maximum sentence of 90 years in prison. In November 2019, a jury in Manhattan found Mark Scott, a lawyer for one coin, guilty of conspiracy to commit money laundering and fraud of $400 million by concealing the ownership and source of the funds. From that amount, he had collected $50 million in fees. Realizing that an arrest warrant was imminent and fearing that she could spend the rest of her life behind bars, Ruja decided to flee. In October 2017, Ruja was scheduled to appear in a one-coin promotional event in Lisbon, Portugal. She never appeared. On October 25, two weeks after the Lisbon event, she boarded a Ryanair flight from Sofia to Athens, Greece. That was her last known location. After that, she vanished and remains missing. 10 Most Wanted Fugitives List In June 2022, the FBI added Ruja Ignatova to its 10 Most Wanted Fugitives List. In the FBI's 72-year history, Ruja is only the 11th woman to appear on this list. A reward of $100,000 is offered by the FBI for information leading to her arrest. There have been several alleged sightings of her, and it is believed that she could be traveling in the Mediterranean, the Black Sea and Dubai. The now 42-year-old is thought to hold both Russian and Ukrainian passports and use a fake ID. She is thought to have undergone several plastic surgeries in order to alter her appearance. It has been reported by a Bulgarian website that Ruja Ignatova was murdered on a yacht in 2018 by a Bulgarian drug lord and her body was dismembered and thrown overboard. However, in 2022, the FBI stated that they continue their investigation under the assumption that she remains alive, as they have no information that supports the narcoboss assassination theory. Jennifer McAdam, Victim of One Coin Fraud Jennifer McAdam, a 52-year-old Scottish single parent and businesswoman who fell victim to One Coin Fraud, commented that she was pleased the FBI had added Ignatova to its 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. In 2016, Ms. McAdam had been in bed due to a chronic illness and she was unable to work. So she decided to invest her savings and the money from her inheritance from her father into one coin. She had been impressed by Ruja and the upward trend in the price of one coin without the fluctuations other cryptocurrencies usually have. After Jennifer lost her money, she pursued Ignatova for six years and she was disappointed when the City of London Police closed their investigation in 2019 saying they could not locate any assets of OneCoin or its founders in the UK. McAdam started a Facebook support group for other defrauded victims of OneCoin. In media, in 2020, it was announced that Jennifer McAdam will be portrayed by Kate Winslet in an upcoming Hollywood film about the OneCoin fraud. Its working title is fake. According to the Irish Daily Mail, filmmaker Scott C. Burns, who was behind the production, described McAdam as the new Aaron Brockovich. In October 2022, a documentary called Crypto Queen, The One Coin Scam, debuted at MIPCOM CAN. A book about this case was written by British investigative reporter Jamie Bartlett and published in June 2022. The book is called The Missing Crypto Queen, The Billion Dollar Cryptocurrency Con and the Woman Who Got Away With It. There is a BBC Sounds podcast called The Missing Crypto Queen. You can listen to episodes here. Where's the money?
According to the BBC in an article dated July 2, 2022, Ignatova stashed millions of dollars in the rival Bitcoin before disappearing in 2017. Details first surfaced in 2021 in leaked documents from Dubai's courts, posted online by Dr. Jonathan Levy, a UK-based lawyer, who described her as the most successful criminal in history. The BBC was not able to verify all of the documents leaked. Dubai and the United Arab Emirates is one of five financial routes Ignatova has known connections to. Levy launched a legal case for compensation for OneCoin victims with British Indian Ocean Territory because it hosted a web domain, allegedly used by OneCoin. Acting on behalf of investors and creditors of OneCoin, Levy described it as one of the largest and most successful financial pyramids in history, seeking an investigation of misfeasance by the Bulgarian government for taking no steps to seize assets from OneCoin including real estate, bank accounts, and 230,000 bitcoins. OneCoin's principles continue to operate from Bulgaria, according to Dr. Levy. In this legal case, it is claimed that Ignatova acquired about 230,000 bitcoins, the largest known transaction for bitcoins, worth $48.5 million, from an Emirati royal in 2015. Crypto author David Birch said, if Dr. Ruja still has the 230,000 bitcoins, she would be one of the currency's largest holders. In November 2021, her stake would have peaked at nearly $15 billion, but it has now dropped, still more than enough to help her stay hidden. Note, I am not an expert in cryptocurrencies. I am simply a concerned person who cannot tolerate injustice in any form.